um, to, you know, I mean, in those days, I mean, Phil was like, we were getting, we, when Todd made Safe after, after Poison, he was heavily criticized by the gay community for not making the movie specifically about AIDS. You know, I mean, that was the time that we were in. You know, it was really, uh, I hesitate to say witch hunty, but almost. I mean, it was really like, you, you know, you're not, you're not saying enough, you're not doing enough. So, I, I don't, you know, the term queer cinema now, I'm not quite sure exactly in a world where, you know, there's a movie like, like what do you, where, where do you put a movie like Brokeback Mountain, for example? You know, I mean, how do you, is that, is it queer or not queer? I mean, you know, or I, it just, I, I just think it's, the, the definition has to become somewhat more elastic, or perhaps abandoned. Well, I mean, I, I can go on a lot about the whole queer positive thing, because I was really, that really was something that informed a lot of the early films that we made. We were really condemned by, glad, sorry, but a lot. <laughs> By, by not make you know that making movies like Poison and Swoon and and uh, that and I shot Andy Warhol big time, you know she was a lesbian and she was a psycho killer and that those with that I was irresponsible that I was an irresponsible gay person for putting those images on screen it was a huge debate, and I think that whole notion of trying to create one queer positive image that works for all of us is is kind of nonsense. I think actually, you make a really good point. I think that actually forced a lot of uh, a lot of people and even the GLAD organization to evolve as well. Because one of the things people note now is our mission is to work for fair, accurate, and inclusive representation. It says nothing about positive. So you know there there are so I could be as negative as I <laughs> there are gay psycho killers out there. 